All right, everyone. So um, this is a digital graphics lesson for Unit 19. Um, so this week we're going to roughly recreate a paranormal activity poster. So this ties into like uh, your film studies unit. I have to excuse my voice. I got like a bit of a cold. So um, so this is what we're going to be doing. Um, so we're going to cover all these things. I'm going to take you through them one step at a time. Uh, we're going to create text layers. We're going to create what's called a half tone pattern using the filter gallery. Uh, we're going to adjust the hue and saturation, which is a new menu that we haven't used before. Uh, we're going to use the rectangle marquee, which uh, we haven't used yet. We're going to adjust the blend modes of layers, which we also didn't, haven't done before, and then general navigation of Photoshop. Okay, <coughs> so this is going to be the rough uh, finished image that we're going to end up with. Uh, so hope ev hopefully everyone will end up with something fairly similar to this. Uh, the files for this, uh, we only need one picture, which is this one. Uh, we're going to be using it on, uh, it's going to be up on the front there, so you can download it. Um, if not, you can just quickly grab it off uh, my hard drive. Okay. Uh, so to begin with, uh, we're just going to make new files, so file new. Remember what we were saying last week, um, you can name these just real quick, quickly. Paranormal Activity Poster. I'm going to use a preset, so if we click on this list, uh, go to International Paper, we're going to make it A4, or sorry, we'll do actually A3, just hit on A3, that'll fix the settings for you. Uh, resolution, we're going to leave it at uh, 300 pixels per inch, uh, and then just make sure your color set to RGB. So RGB is uh, what we use to design for monitors and displays, so it's red, green, and blue. Uh, later on in the unit we'll go into the other ones in more detail. Just for now we're going to use RGB. So just double check that, just Paranormal Activity Poster is your title. Uh, make sure it's A3. Make sure you've got 300 resolution and RGB and then just hit OK. Alright. And so if you open up uh, the photo file as well in Photoshop. File, open. Uh, mine just sitting here. Okay. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to drop this in, so exactly the same as what we did last week. Um, when you have it open in Photoshop, just go to your move tool and just click and drag it in. Okay, it's pretty tiny. Um, that's because we're using such a high resolution. So we're going to scale it, so edit, transform, scale. Uh, pick on your little links here, or you can hold shift on your keyboard. We're going to scale this up just so it's around the width of the poster. Don't worry if it goes a bit pixely. Remember that's just Photoshop's way of speeding it up. Okay, so, there you go. It's still pretty high detail. Okay, so still we're gonna name that uh, our bed photo. So remember to, do to name your layers, just double click on the writing, and then we get out of it, like that. Um, so we're going to do is going to hide that for the time being. We don't need it. Uh, I want you to click on your background layer. So down here in your layers panel, just one click on it. And we're going to fill this with black. Okay. It's hard way to fill uh, stuff in Photoshop. If you've got just a selection made, it'll fill just that selection. If you select an, a whole layer, it'll fill the whole layer. So we're going to fill this whole layer. Edit. Fill. So it's shift and F5 is your shortcut. And you get a little box here appears. So it says uh, use, it's asking you what you want to use. Click on this list. We can use the foreground color, which is this box. Background color, which is the one behind it. We can choose a color. Um, but what you can do is down the bottom, you've got black, 50% gray and white. We're just going to choose black and hit OK. Right, um, so that's it done. We can. Uh, Bring back our image now. Okay, right, so what I want you to do is make a new layer. So remember down here, in your layers panel, the button looks like a little page with a corner turned up. Just click on that. And we're going to rename this layer uh, Half Tone. Okay. Okay, so once you get your halftone layer made, um, make sure it's selected. 
and this is the only layer we want to be working on. Uh, we're going to go up here into your toolbar, up to the very top left hand corner, uh, and the second tool down is your um, your selection tools, so your marquee tools. Uh, we're going to choose the rectangle one. Remember, anything with that little black corner means if you click and hold down, you get a bigger set option. So make sure you've got your rectangle marquee tool. So what this is, is just think of it in terms of um, like a bunch of masking tape. You can uh, section off chunks of your file, and when you do stuff, it'll only happen to that section. Okay, so it's represented by these little marching ants, a kind of animated line. So what we're going to do is I want you to draw a marquee over the whole bottom half of the image. Okay. Uh, if you get it wrong, you can click and drag and start again. Okay. Or we can edit it later on anyway. Okay, so just click and drag. So anything we do is only going to happen inside this uh, image. So what you do is we're going to fill that, same as we did before, edit, fill, you can also do it with a paint bucket, and we're going to fill it with, uh, we'll go 50% grey, okay, and before we do the next bit, we've still got these little marching ants uh, going around the place, we want to get rid of those, so there's two ways you can do it, you can go select, and then deselect, or you can go control D or command D, if you're on a Mac, okay, so select, deselect, and then we'll work on as normal. So what we're going to do is, uh, I want you to change your foreground color to black, and your background color to white. Okay, we're going to go filter, and then we want to go and do the filter gallery, so we'll use this one here. Uh, so the filter gallery is like a whole big library of effects that you can kind of tweak, you can mess about with them, uh, you can do different stuff. Under the section called sketch, we want to be looking for one that's called half tone pattern. Okay. Now for every one of these, you've got different settings you can do. Um, so under half tone pattern, we want to tweak up the size, which is going to be our lines. Um, we tweak them up to around five. You leave your contrast at around nine, and make sure your pattern type is set to line because you can do different ones. So you can do circle, which is like this kind of effect. It's really good for make actually making steel textures. Uh, you can do dot, which looks more like kind of an old uh, comic style of printing, but the one we want to use is line. Okay, so make, just make sure it's set to line, and then you can still tweak these settings. Uh, just hit OK. So we come back out. You can see now our half tone pattern is uh, has been applied just to that layer. Okay. Right. So the next thing we do is we need to tell this half tone pattern uh, to be a bit transparent because at the moment it's just sitting over the top of it. So go to your layers palette, and every time you're on a layer. I mean, we looked at the opacity last week. Remember, you got your opacity setting, okay, like that. And then you've got something beside it, uh, which normally says normal. Okay, uh, this is just uh, the way your layer blends with other layers underneath it. So if you hold over it, it'll say set the blending mode for the layer. So you get a whole big list of options here, and they all do they all do their own separate thing. So if I flick through these, I mean, you can see they're all doing different effects. Uh, the way these work is uh, they use maths so they try to figure out like what colors react with other ones. Okay so for this one what you want to do is make sure you're on your halftone layer uh, we're going to set it to multiply and you can see now it's it's actually started to create a bit of a CCTV uh, effect. You can tweak down your opacity a bit to maybe around 86 or 80 around 80 or so just whenever you're happy with it I mean you might have slightly different settings than me okay so that's a done we've got a we've got kind of our CCTV footage effect um, so if we compare it to the original one we got a fairly similar effect to this right. and it's really easily done I mean you can 
you can do that effect in a, a couple of minutes okay so next thing we want to do is we want to change the color of this slightly so the minute it's um it's not really giving off the feeling of creepiness or anything like that so the original poster is a lot of blue hues on it so we're gonna I'm gonna show you a way that you can just modify the colors so we'll just click on your bed photo yep, so the layer bed photo anytime you want to make color adjustments it's always the same menu so you'll, he you'll hear me say this menu like non-stop it's image adjustments now you get a massive list of options here and we'll go through each of these in different sections uh, for today I want you to look at the hue slash so 